I think you see Infinite. seeking is what is is what happens. Everybody's seeking every moment. If if and and so it's like I used to listen to loads of music. Mm -hmm. So I used to you know buy loads of CDs, and that's a form of seeking. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've noticed that's dropped away. Um, I used to go to lots of gigs, and that's dropped away. Now what what I mean by that is um, me making the effort to go and look on the internet, find bands that I want to see, or or look for CDs. That's that doesn't seem to happen, um, but it used to do a lot. Um, I think what happens now is um, that if something happens, like somebody came last week and said, oh, my boyfriend's in a Latin band, they're really great, can you come? I mean, I would actually, I couldn't go then, but I would have definitely have gone because that's just something that happened there. But making the effort to do anything, uh, anything at all, I mean, smoking, I used to be a smoker, that, that sort of went. But it, it wouldn't necessarily, there's lots of people who see this and they still smoke, you know. Yeah. Um, just some, some things just seem to dissolve away, I suppose, yes. Yeah. But you see, just the fact that you're alive means that, it's or it, it's already there. There's nothing to get. There's not. There's nothing different. There's nothing at all mm -hmm. that makes me different from anybody else. And I just would not like them to think there is, because every time you think that, you think there's something to get, yes. and yeah. that will keep you seeking forever. Yeah. You know, I say just forget the whole thing and uh, just do whatever you you do just don't worry about it you know yeah, yeah. There's, there's there's no mission that how can you make anybody un understand anything anyway mm. you know because mm. their thoughts well they're not even their thoughts thoughts just arise and yes. uh, you know it'll either they'll either not arise one day and just well even thoughts uh, well thoughts arise but the thought to be enlightened will hopefully drop away for people you know yeah. or some people yeah. and when they're not bothered about being enlightened anymore then they may or may not see how, it how would you call it which name would you give it well i wouldn't give it any name really no. because to me really it um it it's just i know it sounds silly because you have to give it a name yeah. um i i've no answer to that really mm -hmm. uh all, all it is is uh, the experience of of living. It's just it's just living life, and yeah. and um, see it, it's it's absolute consciousness of life. But then conscious means that somebody would have to be conscious. So that's a mistake as well, you know. Yeah. Um, I I'm quite happy with um, sort of saying the seeing of being because uh, no, I'm not happy with that either. <laughs> I think about it because again that's like saying no I don't know what to call it it's just mm -hmm. um it's just the way things are it's just, it's just the way things are life yeah living, through living li that's it very yeah. good you know yeah. and it, it's just life mm. like but really understanding what life is a real vitality yes. yeah yes and living it to the full so I want to come short back to show back to your book um Mandy wrote a book um the name is the joy of no self and um, I like what you uh, wrote on the first page it said this book wrote itself the words come directly from presence and that which is reading this book right now is the same presence oh I liked it well you know and I just have to say I have to be, give a bit of credit to that because yeah. I was sort of saying to Jeff Foster who's my really good is a really good mate yeah. of mine we're yeah. talking on the phone and I was sort of saying you know this book wrote itself and everything and yeah. he said yes and it's the same presence as writing yes. it yes. yes yes absolutely yes. and I love that so I put that yes. in yes. <laughs> and um, you know reading through your book, I really liked it. Uh, it's you. like a love song. Oh, <laughs> it has Thank such you. a beautiful, oops, it has such a beautiful energy coming out, oh, and uh, it. I like the way it's written. You know, with big letters and lots of space in between to contemplate the wisdom. <laughs> well, it's more because I need to wear glasses now when I'm reading. I thought, well, probably so you most did people. It all for yourself. I did it all. Like, who else could I be doing it for? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And um, it was actually funny because a couple of weeks ago a friend um, 
uh, took me to a couple of days uh, of a retreat and she started to read this book to me. Oh, really? <laughs> which, oh, yeah, lovely. which was, was a birthday present for me oh. to take me there. But anyway, in the end, you write, this book is full of beautiful po poems and other things. And in the end, um, there is this poem I really like and I was wondering if you would read it to us. Oh, thank you very much. That would be my pleasure, yes. Yeah. So this one's called No Self, No Suffering. Mm -hmm. There is no self to own a feeling or emotion that needs healing, nor a past that needs revealing, or a person who needs toughening to cope with their apparent suffering. And guilt can no more plague a heart in oneness where it has no part. There is no soul to seek and find through practices to clear the mind. There is no self behind the eyes. Yet joy or fear could still arise, but no one's in to sympathise. No self, no suffering, no one seeing that this aliveness here is being. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, and um, well, again, the book is called The Joy of No Self, and that's how we experience you. Oh. Very joyful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Mandy, is there, and we have to close in a couple of minutes, is mm. there anything else you want to share with us or tell us? Um, just really to thank you very much and, and, yeah. I, and I suppose um, you know I, I would like people to s sort of see the, the joy in this because yeah. um, people do struggle with this and, and they don't need to struggle it, yes come and come to meetings if you like if or not if you don't want read books about non-duality if you like mm -hmm. but but don't feel that you have to somehow become a person who is detached just because you hear all this just yeah. hear it and let it just wash over you and yeah. and don't feel there's anything else you have to do and um that it's not because there is nothing that, that you can do and that's the joy in it that's the yeah. freedom in it yeah. many people see that as um, a worry and 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 feel that but there must be they get very angry but it's the it's the thoughts the mind gets angry that there's nothing that you can do but since there really isn't there's there's a freedom in that and when you just just allow that freedom i suppose yeah. you know who knows seeking yeah. may you know, it may not but it could sort yeah. of you know, just yeah. dissolve away, and then that real joy yeah. is found well, in everything. You hear over and over the stories of seekers mm. who finally realized that there's nothing they can do, mm. and they gave up, Yes. and then it happened to them. Yes, yes. Yeah. it certainly can. I think there's yeah. more chance of that yes. than, than trying to find, trying yes. to find, because then yes. your mind is like, that. Uh, that's just like the veil, what we call the veil is thoughts, busy, 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 knitting mm. together with other thoughts, mm. and until there's a veil, that the, 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 the oneness, the spaciousness, it, it's not perceived through that veil. Yeah. That's yeah. why yes. it gets in the way. That's why thoughts of seeking get in the way. Yeah. But you can't do anything about that anyway. Yeah. So just know you can't do anything about mm. that and uh, mm. be miserable if you want to or be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mandy, well, thank you for coming thank and talking you. to us. It's and been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for watching Conscious TV and we see you soon. Bye-bye.